boys and girls, it's story time with Pastor Tina. Welcome to story time, boys and girls. I am Pastor Tia Maldonado. Thank you for joining me today. We have a book today that is so very fun and exciting, and I think it has a really good lesson in it for you. Well, the name of the book is Malia and Joe. Malia and Joe. Now, Malia and Joe are neighbors, and they're not quite friends yet, but you're going to see something that happens when two people decide to work together. Do you know what the Bible says? The Bible tells us that two are better than one, because if one of them falls, the other one is able to help them up. Whenever you're by yourself, if things don't go right, and you're all alone, who's going to help you? That's why the Bible tells us that two are better than one. Because every now and then, all of us need a little bit of help, right? Whether it's ideas, or if you get in trouble, or if in fact you do fall down off your bike, it really helps if someone's there to help you up. So pay attention, Malia and Joe. That's the name of the book. This is a really good one. I know you are going to enjoy it. Malia loved science. Every day in her backyard lab, she would create things that, would, that could scrub, pitch, tickle, bounce, fly, ding, or even make your bed. I need something like that to help me with making my bed every day. Most of Malia's creations weren't finished. She just kept working on them, measuring, testing, reading, observing, having a snack, testing again. And if the invention didn't work yet, she went through all those steps again. Look at that. Possibly even starting over just to make sure she didn't miss something, I bet. One day, Malia was working on an airplane made of paper. She adjusted the wings she adjusted the tail, she pulled the propeller a teeny bit further out, but still the plane wouldn't soar. How could she make it fly fast and far? Suddenly, Malia heard a strange sound, growling, howling, yelping. The sound was coming from a girl who had just moved in next door. She seemed to be singing while crouching and leaping around. Do you make those kind of noises when you're singing and jumping and moving? The girl came whirling and twirling towards Malia. I'm Joe, she said, but you can call me Jojo or Josephine or Jojo on the go-go. Look how Malia's looking like. Okay. She says, I'm Malia, Malia replied. You can call me Malia. Malia started to explain that she was busy working on a really important invention when Joe leaped into Malia's lap. You've got so much cool stuff here, Malia Bobolina, said Joe as she flipped a bowl with an antenna on it and put it on her head. That's not a hat, actually, said Malia, carefully flipping it again. Joe held up a bendy contraption and turned its crank. I love this bendy ladder. It's actually not a ladder, Malia said. Cool plane, said Joe, picking up the paper plane and tossing it. Careful, said Malia. As the plane plunged towards the mud, Malia dove to catch it. Joe plucked a dandelion. Too bad your plane doesn't fly like the fluff on a dandelion, said. she said. Puff! The seeds went soaring in all directions. Joe stopped to take a bite out of, licorice, out of a licorice stick. Then she squealed. Oh, 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 check out the clubhouse balloon thing. Joe poked the licorice stick into the neck of a small headless robot for, the, for safekeeping as she dashed towards the clubhouse. 
That robot was one of Malia's favorite inventions. Its head kept falling off, but she loved it just the same. You can't put your licorice stick in my robot, Malia shouted. Joe didn't even seem to hear. She skipped around the back to her yard and started a new dance. Malia was really irritated, I can tell. As Malia put her inventions, inventions back in order, she laughed about Joe's silly ideas. She thought my cereal bowl radio was a hat. But as Malia held the bowl upside down, she began to wonder. When Malia put her plane back, she remembered Joe blew on the dandelion. Could Malia blow on the plane and make it soar? Next, Malia reached for her headless robot and gasped. <gasps> With that sticky licorice in the robot's neck, the head stays right in place. Malia was shocked. Joe is a genius. Malia hurried over to Joe's yard. Yo, Joe, she called, but Joe didn't answer. She was creating a dance inspired by leaping frogs. Malia came closer. Can we be a team, Joe? Please, please, please. No deal, ya Malia, ya Joe replied, leaping her high, leaping higher and higher. Why should I try to make a plane that soars when I can soar myself? Watch out, shouted Malia, but it was too late. Joe had leaped so high, she'd gotten stuck in a tree branch. That is a huge leap. I have never gotten stuck in a tree branch, nor do I ever wish to get stuck in a tree branch. Hang on, Joe! Malia dashed away and dashed right back with her crank contraption. As she turned the crank, its bendy ladder reached all the way up to the branch. Joe scampered down the ladder. Your inventions are the real deal, Mio. I wouldn't have known this invention's true, uh, invention's true use if it weren't for you, said Malia. I, it never worked as a spaghetti server. Spaghetti server? Really? It never worked as a spaghetti server, but when you called it a ladder, I realized it would be perfect for getting people out of trees. Malia brought out one of the inventions after one after another and the sh to show Joe how she'd help improve them. The antenna hat was perfect for listening to radio while working. The licorice stick kept the robot's head on. Hmm. When she blew into the straw on the back of the plane, the plane could soar far and fast. Joe realized that Malia was right. These two were meant to be together. They headed over to Malia's lap. Sorry I yelled at you, said Malia. Sorry I stuck my licorice stick in your robot's neck without asking, said Joe. As they began working on inventions, Malia didn't mind if Joe rearranged things or turned them upside down or gave them funny names. She realized that Joe, that was Joe's way of working. Malia helped with Joe's creation too. creations too. She concocted a gooey material that, could, that she could use to make set pieces for Joe's dances and homemade musical instruments they could play when Joe was singing her songs. By combining Joe's art skills with Malia's science skills, they could create more super cool stuff together than could create alone. When the robot waddled by, Malia said, let's call him Reynardo the Licorice Neck Robot. Great idea, amazing Amelia, said Joe. Thanks, genius Josephinus, Malia replied. Reynaldo's licorice neck wouldn't last long, but the friendship between Malia and Joe would last forever. Wow, that is amazing. Two little girls who had no idea that they one day would be friends forever because one day they chose to work together. I told you, the Bible tells us that two are better than one. Well, I am so glad you joined me today. 
this book was an amazing read because boys and girls, here's your challenge for today. Find out where you can invite someone into your life. Maybe it's in your coloring, maybe it's in your reading, or just your imagination playtime. Invite someone in and see how much further you can go with it when you have someone else working with you. It is an amazing experience when two people who are gifted at two different things works together. You know what that's called? Here's a big word for you, boys and girls. It's called collaboration. It is bringing two or three or more things together to work together for a big, big thing. And I believe that you boys and girls are going to do great, big, big things. You're so smart. You're very intelligent very creative and strong. I'm sure that there's so many things that you wanna do and you can do it, but guess what? You can't do it alone. There's a group who are fans of story time and they are called the Literary Journeys. And you know what they do, boys and girls? They are a group of people who write small individual stories and they're putting it together all in one book, collaboration, remember, Two is better than one. So a group of people are getting together to write one book. You can do so many things when you work with other people. I want to thank the Literary Journeys for being fans of story time. And today we are going to pray for you. We're going to pray for your courage, for your creativity, for the Lord to bless the work that you're doing and how you're showing one another the value of their gifts and may that continue. I'm so excited for you. So boys and girls, listen, just like this organization, you can write into me too so that we can pray together. You can send me your pictures. You can send me videos of you watching and dancing during story time. I would love to see you. Write me at storytime at cicorlando.org. Storytime at cic orlando.org. That's where you email me. You can subscribe to cicorlando.org and you can be updated every single time Storytime airs. You don't want to miss an episode of Storytime, do you? Of course not. Of course not. So will you pray with me today as we pray for the literary journeys and we pray for little boys and girls just like you and even me? Let's pray. Lord, Thank you for this time together here on Storytime. I love Storytime and the boys and girls love Storytime. And we're so grateful, Lord, that you give us this opportunity to connect through this way of the internet. Thank you, Lord, for the story we read. We learned that two are better than one. We see that in, a, in a Malia and in Joe in this story, that while we have really great skills and really great ideas, that we can't really get to the goal of what we're trying to do until we learn to work together. So thank you for teaching us that today in the story, Father God. Thank you for the literary journeys who are working hard to do that very thing, Lord. They are working together and they're learning how to collaborate their efforts in creating different stories to combine into one book to be published for all to read and all to enjoy, Father God. Bless the work that they're doing. Thank you, Lord, for how you're using them individually to work together as a group to create such a wonderful thing that will bless all your people. Lord, continue to use them in their creativity. Lord, give them the, the patience to work with one another. Give them the, the ability to express themselves in such a colorful and creative way, Father God. We thank you for those writers who are writing and they're glorifying you as they're using their gifts and talents, Father God. Bless them, Father God, and may their work continue and impact the whole wide world. I thank you for them, Father God. Lord, I also want to pronounce a blessing over other little boys and girls. I thank you, Lord, that you're doing so many great things. I'm getting so many great, great, great emails, and, and they're just doing so many things. They're getting ready for school, and I just want to pronounce a blessing over them, Lord. I thank you for Andrew and Micah. I thank you, Lord, that you're doing great things in them. Keep them and protect them, Father God. They said, Lord, they don't want to get COVID, so we're praying, Lord, that they don't get COVID because they're concerned about that. Lord, I thank you for Angel, and I thank you for Marie, and Lord, I want you to just reach out to Britt, Lord, that you would bless him and his sister, Brittany, and I pray, Father God, that you would do great things in Micah's life, Father God, and I thank you for Joseph, and I thank you for Andrew. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. 
Thank you so much for joining me. I am Pastor Tia Maldonado, and I look forward to seeing you again next time on Storytime. Thanks for watching.